Shed, Border Paws Animal Shelter for another edition of Pet Project. And today we have an adorable puppy named Coraline. Now, uh, she is a bit on the crazier side, so, uh, but she's a puppy. So that is, uh, it comes with the territory. So can you tell me a little bit about her story and how she came to the SPCA? Yeah, so she was just found running around out of town there. We've had her for quite some time now. I'd say about a month to two months now we've had her. She's about a four month husky mix for sure. Not 100% sure what she's mixed with, but definitely husky in there. She has a lot of energy. She still needs quite a bit of training. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she would probably do best in a home with somebody with patience. Um, I think with the right training though, she could come a long way. She's not a stupid girl. She's very smart, she just, doesn't listen very well yet. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't do younger children either. Mm -hmm. um, I think 10 and older would be okay. You know, somebody who understands boundaries and is willing to. But I feel like if you got under 10, there's a good chance she'll knock your little ones over or be a bit nippy. Yeah. We're working on the nippiness right now. So. And that comes with, again, with exactly. the territory with being a puppy. And, you know, huskies are very energetic <laughs> dogs. So it also makes sense. But she's definitely, she doesn't show those signs of aggression. It's it's more so just playful and doesn't know her own size um, or her <laughs> own strength either because she has jumped up a couple of times and almost knocked me down, but that's okay. Um, and would you recommend maybe a home with the bigger yards and like more space too? Yes, absolutely. She's got a lot of energy. So I mean, the bigger the yard, the more you can wear her out and then, you know, she's a little a little less full of energy so yeah no i would definitely recommend a bigger yard you know an acreage would be ideal um i have a feeling that if she gets bored she's going to be ripping up everything in your house again like you said it comes with mm -hmm. being a puppy she probably is teething so that doesn't help anything but yeah Coraline will need to go to somebody who's willing to take the time to work with her and teach her some manners <laughs> <laughs> Of course, and you don't know what she's mixed with. You just know that no. she has a bit of husky. Yeah, definitely the husky, according to the markings. But yeah, real. she was found running around out of town, so she can be mixed with anything, right? You see a lot of mixes with shepherds and yeah. labs, though, kind of, those kind of things. So. And going on kind of like the stray um, topic, have you noticed any more influx in strays, whether it be cats, kittens, dogs? Um, a little less kittens this time around. We're still getting cats on the daily. Mm -hmm. um, not seen as many kittens. Um, unfortunately, with the weather dropping like this, you know, it is quite scary, the animals mm -hmm. out there. So if you do see an animal in distress or anything like that, um, even in minus 50, if you see an animal outside, just give bylaw a call and then they'll be able to come and try to see if they can catch the cat. Because unfortunately, in minus 50, you know, you're losing ears, you're losing tails. It doesn't take no time at all for those to fall off, so. Now, uh, coming up this week, we've been talking about it for uh, a while now, yes. and it's an event that you guys put on every single year, and it's a chance for people to get see more of the animals that you have. You have your Jalen okay. Bale coming up this week, uh, which is super exciting because it's, go it's your first year back uh, doing it the normal way, plus you're doing it at the new building, so. Tell me a little bit about that. You also have a raffle going on as well. Yeah, so it's this Friday. Uh, we are actually going to be having it at our new shelter, which we are extremely excited. It's not quite done yet, but I mean, it's enough that we can get in there um, and as well show the public a little bit of the progress. I think people will be pleasantly surprised with how far along it's come. So yeah, that will run seven to seven. Um, we'll have our jailers locked up. We'll also have a silent auction going on. You'll be able to go to the website and bid on things. Uh, we've got a lot of great items, all the local businesses here in town have been so generous with everything i believe last time i checked with my girl doing the silent auction she said we already have over 50 items and then yes we're doing a raffle this year so one of our staff members she ended up reaching out to westjet and getting two tickets donated to us so we are actually raffling them off it's westjet it two round trip tickets anywhere westjet flies i mean there are blackout dates mm -hmm. but yeah so it's 75 dollars for one ticket or two for a hundred and there's only 200 or sorry two for a hundred and there's only 200 tickets so your odds are pretty good <laughs> that's yeah that's very exciting mm -hmm. able to get that big prize that and know that's going to bring a lot more people in especially when they hear anywhere that westjet flies exactly. that's very exciting um now on on the actual day, if somebody does want to donate, how can they do that so they can kind of get prepared for the day of? 
Yeah, so you can either go right on our website. We're going to have a link there. That's probably, the, honestly, the easiest way. But we will be taking phone calls. So if you want to call in and give, we can take credit card over the phone. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, or you can stop in the shelter here and donate as well as I believe we're going to have some sort of uh, payment method at the new shelter. So either stop by the old, this shelter, or the new one, and we can take payment that way as well. Awesome. And again, same as every week, is there any specific donations that you're in you're in need of or <laughs> just uh, stuff in general? So yeah, again, always food, um, blankets. Also, if anybody has any like space heaters kicking around their house, it is quite cold in here. Unfortunately, we can't fix all the cracks in the building. So if anybody has any extra heaters as well as extension cords, we can always use that. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, you still have your Amazon wish list as well. Yes, that people absolutely. Can use. And if people aren't sure about the food they want to buy for us, it's all listed on our Amazon wish list. As well as if you don't want to leave the house in this cold, <laughs> it's the perfect way. You click a couple buttons and it comes right to us. Awesome. Well, hopefully, Coraline <laughs> finds her forever home uh, and she gets to run out the rest of her days in a big yard. With a, with a happy family and hopefully gets over the nipping, which I'm assuming she's only four months old, so it that's gonna go. Pass with time. It will, uh, especially if she's in a, a good, stable environment exactly. as well. So thank you so much uh, for joining mm -hmm. us again this week. And Coraline, I wish you the best of luck. Crazy. <laughs> thank you. Pet Project is sponsored by the Pet Pad. For total pet care, think PetPad.